Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are studying hard uh, as we get closer and closer to the exams. So as a quick intro for those of you that don't know me, my name is Daniel. I'm a GCC and A-level maths tutor. And uh, this channel is uh, Maths with Dan, whereby I just go through exam paper walkthroughs. Um, also, just random questions as well. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram where I do the same thing. Just go through um, just random exam questions, really, just to create a hub for you guys to get ready for your exams and for you guys to smash your exams, which I know you guys all will. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of an intro. Bit of a life update for me, not that you guys care, but um, about six months ago now, I had surgery on my jaw. Uh, I had an underbite, which the NHS fixed, so shout out to the NHS. And uh, obviously, as you can imagine, uh, I was put to sleep, they broke my jaw. Couldn't really, not couldn't really, I couldn't eat for about maybe two months. I was on a liquid diet. Speaking was a bit difficult, so as you can imagine, I had to cancel all of my my classes. I had to stop filming, so I haven't actually uploaded in quite a while, actually. But um, but yeah, recovery went well, and uh, it's good to be back. So obviously, while I was recovering, I just thought, how can I make the time go by, or what can I think to do to be productive? And that is why we're here today. So welcome to my past paper pure topic breakdown and basically this is just a document that I've created whereby I've gone through all of the past papers from um, 2018 to 2024 and I've just basically used a color scheme to categorize them into their frequency and how often they come up and um, based on that as well I've actually created a predicted paper which will be out very very soon. So yeah, this video here is just me going through the document which will be available to you. By the time I upload this, it will be on my website and I'll show you how to um, access it and I'll put a link in the description as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it as an intro. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here's the document. Um, this is the thumbnail for the video, obviously. And then obviously I just got a quick intro just saying, hello, my name is Daniel, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, I'll just go down it. And obviously this is just uh, as I've said in the intro, this is the color scheme explanation. So as I said before, I broke it down from 2018 to 2024, went through all of the pure papers, paper one and two, and I categorized them into how many colors have I got? I've got six colors, right? So we've got green core topics that come up every year. So these are essential topics that have consistently appeared in every paper. You should master these areas as they are highly likely to appear again. So pretty much greens is topics that come up all the time. Um, blue is almost every year. And to be honest, Green and blue are pretty much the same color. So think of them as one and in the same. Maybe there is a topic that didn't come up. So for example, last year's paper didn't have the trapezium rule, but I would categorize that as a, as a green topic, if you get what I'm saying. But it technically didn't, it doesn't come up every year. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we've got purple um, in between almost every year and appears occasionally. This indicates that there are that this topic is not as predictable as previous categories, but are still significant. They might appear in some years and not in others. But again, be familiar with them. Be familiar with all of these, by the way. Every single topic, your revision should be very comprehensive. You should make sure you've done every single past paper from 2018 to 2024, but it's not available. So 2023. And um, yeah, sample papers as well, right? Now, the next color scheme is orange, right? Which appears occasionally. Topics in this category are less consistent. They show up sporadically. So while they may not be your top priority, it's wise to review them as part of your revision to cover all bases. So again, as I said, I'm going to reiterate throughout this video, make sure you revise everything please right this is not me saying you should revise here and there or that topic and that topic revise everything now next one is yellow which is not as frequent these topics have made their appearance but lack a clear pattern although they are less likely to appear reviewing them will be beneficial for comprehensive preparation so again make sure you revise it and then the red topic isn't actually the red color scheme sorry isn't actually based on frequency it's kind of like a special category which is basically based on my opinion topics that i feel that i feel will come up right or that can come up so this is just like a wild card type of color scheme or color coding system just the red one only yeah so again make sure you revise everything i obviously got a disclaimer here all topics should be thoroughly, thoroughly revised and yeah, as I said before, just make sure you revise everything thoroughly. So let's actually get down to the nitty gritty. So this is 2024. So I actually can't show you that because it's obviously not um, publicly available. But these are the topics that did come up. And obviously, as you can see, it's pretty much green and blue, isn't it? Right. As you can see, obviously, integration by parts, geometric sequences, of series, functions, radians, and so on and so forth. We can see that we've got... um yellow here in context so what this means if you see like a bracket right so an arithmetic series and sequence sequence and series question did come up which comes up every year but it's in brackets it's in yellow in context so this last year's paper in paper two question two 
um, was that, right? But it was a contextualized arithmetic sequence as a series, which doesn't always come up, which is why I've put it in yellow. So that's just kind of how to navigate this. And obviously you've got another yellow one here when you had to integrate um, sine squared or cos squared. And obviously to do that, you've got to use the double angle formula, but that doesn't come up all the time, which is why I've put it there. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get on to 2023. Now, these papers you can see. So uh, I've got my website here, which is where all of the papers are going to be just for ease uh, for this video. And obviously you'll be able to access it yourself. I've got the videos to the 2023 papers here. I haven't got any others because I haven't done them yet. But yeah, let's just have a look at the topics for 2023. So what maybe looks interesting? So for example, forming rates of change, question 11 on paper 2, 2023. So let's go to that. Uh, so paper two, question 11. Let's go to question 11. Yeah, so this one here, former rates of change. So uh, this doesn't come up all the time, and I think it can come up, to be fair. It came up in 2023. I think the other time it came up was 2021. Let's type in rates of change. Rates of change, uh, yeah, 2021. And according to my document, it's the only two times it's actually appeared when you had to basically do that, show that in part a you know with differential equations it says show that this is that it doesn't come up all the time so i would definitely recommend you guys uh revise that um let's actually see the other question what, what other paper did it say it came up on 2021 paper two so it's paper two topic it seems anyways let's go to 2021 paper two which is going to be um over here and let's see what question was it in paper two it was question 14 the, the second to last one so let's have a look and see question 14 yeah so yeah as you can see pretty similar to this one right these are the only two times that's come up uh from 2018 up until last year so yeah i'll definitely put that in your revision put everything in your revision but yeah you guys get the picture so let us let us see what else we've got here so let's have a look at something else um set notation can you see that is purple doesn't come up all the time how many times does that come up set notation once there 2022 and then what's the other one 2018 yeah so let's for example let's go to the 2018 one paper one 2018 question 14 so paper one 2018 question 14 so i think that was the last question in this paper set notation uh, give it answer in set notation. So as you can see, it doesn't come up all the time, but you, again, you've got to be very um, meticulous with your revision. Make sure you understand set notation, right? I think there's a document on the spec, the Edexcel spec with all of the different um, notations, but yeah, make sure you know that because they, it can come up at any point. Um, let's go back. So where were we? We're at 2023, I believe. Yeah, it came up in 2023. I've actually got that paper up, so I might as well just look at it. What paper three, 2023? Have I got it up? I don't think so. Let's just have a look at it anyway and see. Um, paper two. And what question did it come up in? It came up in question 12. I think I remember this question. Let's have a look. Question 12. I must have remembered the question. I did the walkthrough on this, actually. What was the question? Oh, yeah, it was this question. Yeah, this is a hard question. But yeah, can you see? Set notation in part C. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, again, just make sure you revise that. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, what is other, another thing that I'd like to highlight? Uh, this one as well, actually, now that I'm at, on it, using a syntable interval and a suitable function. So that, that specific question in numerical methods, how many times does that come up? Let me tap an interval and see how many times it's only come up twice apparently it's come up in 2023 at the end of paper one and it came up in 2021 question four so let's just have a look at an example for what that for what that type of question looks like so what's that 2021 paper one so let me close all of these tabs actually 2021 paper one is um over here so what question was it again it was question four it was question four so, uh, question four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's these types of questions, isn't it? When they want you to actually find uh, alpha or show that it's equal to a certain value. So remember how you do these, you just get the boundaries. So you're gonna get 0 0.3, um, 
uh, 0.410 add one add five 0 0.3415 and 0 0.3405 plug it into the value show that you get a change of sign yeah so that question doesn't come up all the time but again make sure you know how to do it so let's go back to the to the document so what else do we have here uh let's just see anything random anything that parametric integration yeah i was shocked that that this didn't come up last year did it did parametric come up at all last year parametric must of oh it came up as differentiation so parametric integration did not come up last year so let me type in integration and see how many times that's come up so it came up in question 16 of 2022 and it came up in question 12 of 2020 so remember parametric integration i think is probably one of the trickier parts of um the syllabus what question was that 2020 question 12 let's see what came up 2020 what paper Paper two, paper two, question 12. Um, let's see what that says. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's this one. I remember this one. Yeah, so as you can see, parametric integration, There was a. this was a contextualized question. So again, that could come up too. The fact that it was in context hasn't come up for five years. So it could come up in 2025. So yeah, definitely have a look into that. Um, what else do we have? So is there, are there any colors I haven't? spoken about yet let's have a look um i've done that one i've done orange i've done yellow i've done green i've done blue i've done red i've done purple yeah i think i've actually done through gone through everything in terms of the colors but yeah let's have a look at something else what else was there oh let's look at the yellows now actually um yeah so for all oh, yeah curve sketching right in parametric equations the reason why that's yellow right is because if i go to that paper paper one of 2018 Paper one of 2018, and I think that was the last question, you know. Let me just double check what question it was again, because I've got this document. I can, yeah, it was the last question, question 14. Um, yeah, can you see? Sketch the curve C. So they don't typically ask that in terms of parametrics, right? So it could come up this year. So again, just remember, you know how to sketch curves in general and sketching them parametrically as well, yeah? So that's another thing. Um, what else is there? I think the yellow ones are ones to look out for. Um, points of intersection, uh, finding the range. Uh, what's that? Let's see. Paper 1, 2019. Let's see why I put that as yellow. Paper 1 of 2019. And what question was that? That was question uh, 2. 2. So let's see. Question 1. Question 2. Points of intersection. Right, yeah, these types of questions here. Yeah, so with this one, remember, you've got the graph of cos x, right? You would need to sketch the graph of 2x plus a half, isn't it, right? So you can see that there's only one point of intersection. So that's probably why I put it as um as yellow, right? Because that hasn't come up for a while. That doesn't really come up. So yeah, again, just use this document to just basically, basically categorize your revisions into different parts. Again, disclaimer, make sure you revise everything though. But um, but yeah, what else is there? Is there anything else that I can give you guys? I'm just thinking. Um, hmm. What else have we got here? Shaded areas that comes up a lot. Uh, what else do we have? I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to look. I think the yellows are starting to definitely look at. Um, what's this one? Paper 2020, paper one, question nine, finding the range. What's that about? Let's see why I put that as um as yellow. So 2020, paper one. 2020 paper one um what question was that that was question nine let's have a look and see question nine okay yeah yeah these types of questions here so remember this is a calculus question part a is asking you for the derivative so you're going to look for the turning points but remember with calculus because you can get stationary points, which is going to be a maximum or a minimum, you could actually use that to find the range. So another thing to think about, just something I've just thought about now, is don't just think of, I'm going to find a range in the question whereby it's functions, right? Domain and range. It could also be integrated into a calculus question, as you can see with this one, right? So again, make sure you revise those types of questions. And I can see why I've put that in yellow, because that doesn't actually come up all the time. But again, just make a note of it. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it in terms of the examples that I've given. I think this is pretty much okay. So I would definitely look at the yellow ones, look at everything or another thing as well, proving the formulas for um, the series. So there's obviously a proof for the 
um, arithmetic series and the one for the geometrics. Let me, if I type in proving, when, because I know that they've both come up. Proving the arithmetic one came up in when? 2022, question 13. And the geometric one came up in 2020 of question 15. So they have come up. They can come up again. So definitely make sure to memorize those proofs or make sure you learn them because it can come up. And it's also good for your algebra and for your revision as well. So definitely make sure you know those proofs. And um, yeah, let's just have a look at the red ones again, just as a summary. So, oh yeah, this one, 2021 geometric sequences and series, and I've put in brackets involving sigma notation. What that means there is um, uh, the question itself is a green. So it's a question that comes up. However, this type of question involves sigma notation, right? Let's actually see what question that was. 2021 of paper two, question nine. 2021, paper two, question nine. So let's go there. Question nine. I know what questions. This was a three marker, isn't it? I remember this one. Yeah, this one here. So this is a geometric series question. Obviously, um, the way you'd be able to show it is obviously just investigate it. Plug in a couple of values, n equals two, n equals three, n equals four. You'll see that there's a common ratio and obviously a starting value. So it's a geometric one. Obviously, it's in sigma notation, which doesn't come up typically. So again, something that I've put in brackets that could come up this year. So definitely do that. And um, yeah, I've gone for a couple now. So hopefully you guys have got the gist of um, how this document works. And hopefully you guys find it beneficial to your vision. Um, as well as that, what I will say is um, uh, I will put it here. So I've got this predicted papers tab. And what I'll do is by the time this video is uploaded, I will put it there and I'll put it there. So you'll be able to access the document there. And obviously I'll put the video, which which is currently here. I'll put this um, on the link here as well. And obviously, as you can see, this is a predicted papers tab because as well as that, based on these, um, based on this color scheme that I've made, I've actually created a couple of predicted papers, which will be out very, very soon. So yeah, I'll also put a description in the predicted papers with this color scheme that will link back to this so you can see what I've done. So yeah, I've pretty much created a paper based on this color scheme to help you with your revision, which will be out soon. Hopefully not too long after this video is uploaded. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, it in terms of uh, the video and the document. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, yeah, you have the past papers here, so you can just have a look at them. Um, yeah, the document is here. Feel free to share it with anybody that you think may find it helpful just to help with your revision. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it really. Um, hope you found it helpful. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. So uh, yeah, that was the that was the video. So hopefully you guys have a, a bit of an idea now as to how to use uh, the document for your revision. And um, yeah, again, as I was saying before, make sure you revise everything. Listen, don't say that Daniel told you not to revise this or that. I'm telling you to revise everything. But um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, hopefully uh, it all goes well for you and um, your revision is solid. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, I've created a couple of predicted papers based uh, on those color schemes. That was the pure um, breakdown. I've got a statistics one, which I'll do a video at a later point. But um, but yeah, uh, keep revising, keep studying hard. Anything else? Oh, yes, of course. Um, Easter's coming up. I'll definitely be doing some Easter classes. So uh, have a look out for that. Probably be towards the um, end of April, potentially. It will be in that Easter period, though, because I know it's the second and third week. So maybe in the middle of April. But yeah. I'll, I will definitely make an announcement. So have a look out for that. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff um, planned for you guys in terms of TikToks, live streams, um, doing some courses on my website as well that you guys may be interested in as well. But, um, but yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully the predicted papers isn't out too long after this. Again, keep studying hard and I'll see you guys uh, soon. Take care. Bye-bye.